Have you heard the latest updates on Tesla stock? I heard that there might be good news coming. As a Tesla shareholder, you may be curious about what the coming year holds for the company's shares and the industry. With unpredictable stock market, it may be challenging to forecast what to expect from a firm like Tesla. However, Morgan Stanley, an American financial services company, has thoughts regarding what the future may bring for Tesla shareholders. Tesla's stock price increased significantly following a 30.8% drop and a 7-day long losing streak. As a result, the stock became oversold and closed at its cheapest cost since August 2020. Despite this recovery, Tesla shares plunged 38.8% in December, bringing the manufacturer on record for its worst monthly decline since its initial public offering in 2010. Despite this, Morgan Stanley doubts that this is the end for Tesla stock. The company noted that the recent sell-off is a buying opportunity for Tesla shares and has advised investors to acquire shares during the current dip. Tesla stock has recently increased significantly, extending its recovery after hitting a more than a two-year slump. This follows Morgan Stanley's recent observations on the company's sale. With the business fields gives an appealing chance to invest in the electric vehicle market. According to Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas, the sell-off was likely caused by increasing unfavorable supply versus demand imbalances in the EV market, which was compounded by technical reasons. In addition, Jonas stated in a recent report that 2023 is expected to be a reset year for the EV industry, with supply forecast to surpass demand. Morgan Stanley sees an attractive entry point in Tesla as the share price continues to trade lower. Although it reaffirmed an overweight rating on Tesla shares, it previously reduced its price target from $330 to $250 per share for the best-case scenario in which Tesla cannot fulfill future EV demand. According to analyst Adam Jonas, Tesla has the potential to flourish in the aggressive electric vehicle market. He believes that self-funded firms with relatively cheap supply chain costs, like Tesla, may be potential victors in the EV industry. While highlighting Tesla's stock sell-off as an appealing entry moment for investors, Jonas noted that there are still challenges to overcome, including a deteriorating economic backdrop, record-level unaffordability, and growing competition. However, he said that despite these challenges, he expects Tesla will lengthen its lead in the EV race by leveraging their costs and market advantages to further distinguish the company from the competition. Morgan Stanley previously identified Tesla as one of its best selections for this year, highlighting the company's future growth potential. Despite recent issues with Tesla's stock price, the investment group continues to see the stock as a growth possibility. According to reports, Morgan Stanley's selection of Tesla emphasizes the firm's trust in the company. In contrast to Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley maintained its price estimate for Tesla at $330. The bank also doubled down, adding that although 2023 may be viewed as a challenging year for the EV industry, it expects that the gap between Tesla and its competition will grow. Several Tesla electric vehicles, especially the Model 3 and Model Y, have just qualified for a tax credit in the United States, with the current $7,500 federal tax credit for EVs set to take effect on January 1, 2023. While many details haven't been revealed, the standards for battery material provenance and component fabrication were the biggest unknowns. The U.S. Treasury has declared that the rules for these criteria will be delayed until March and will only apply then. However, recent reports imply that Tesla vehicles may still qualify for this benefit. The main difficulty is that eligibility may only be available for a few months. According to the U.S. Treasury Department, new restrictions on electric vehicle tax credits will not be enforced at all once. As a result, the new regulations will be more lenient initially, allowing for greater tax credits on electric vehicles in the first few months of the year. While Morgan Stanley is optimistic about Tesla, it is essential to remember that the firm has reduced its price target for Tesla stock from $330 to $250. The stock is presumed to trade at 18 times 2030 earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, and 3.7 times 2030 sales in its bull case scenario. 
In the bear scenario, stocks are predicted to trade at 3.1 times EBITDA in 2030 and 0 0.6 times sales in 2030, with a share price of $80, dropping from the previous target of $150. As the saying goes, numbers don't lie. And you would truly want to take advantage of the opportunity to invest in Tesla at the perfect time. Thank you for staying and viewing this video with me. This is Fred, and we've made it halfway, but there's still more to come. Remember to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel so you get all the updates from us. If you want to discover what Tesla can do for a comeback in 2023, be sure to stick around until the end. While some experts predict a massive comeback in Tesla stock this 2023, several variables might still delay this transition, one of which is China's apparent demand and production concerns. Tesla has halted manufacturing in China owing to an increase in COVID-19 incidents. According to reports, Tesla had intended to halt most of its activities at its Shanghai Gigafactory. The decision came ahead of plans and may have a long-term impact on demand, leaving Tesla with excess inventory in its second-largest marketplace, which was already bracing for a slump. In addition, because the Shanghai Gigafactory is Tesla's most important manufacturing site, producing two of the business's best-selling vehicles, the Model 3 and Model Y, this could significantly impact the company. The manufacturing halt in China may impact local demand because consumers would buy fewer automobiles in the following months. However, Tesla could avoid this problem if its Shanghai Gigafactory focused on exporting cars rather than concentrating on local market demand. Although Tesla did not provide a particular explanation for the suspension, the company had been dismissing the morning shift at the facility and informing employees that they may start their break. In addition, it was earlier reported that Tesla planned to temporarily stop production of the Model Y electric crossover at the Shanghai Gigafactory and that the suspension might be part of the company's goal to reduce output by roughly 30% by December. Despite these problems, there is still a lot to look forward to from Tesla this 2023, with the majority expected to be pleasant. It is important to highlight, however, that the success of Tesla stock is not assured, just like it is not for any other stock. Several Tesla bulls, market analysis, as well as Elon Musk himself, have observed that the global economy is at risk, primarily in the United States, as the Federal Reserve persists in raising interest rates to counter increasing inflation. At the same time, supply limitations may rise as relations between the US and China escalate causing various electronic suppliers, including Tesla, to face production issues. However, by examining Tesla's financing and future, investors may better understand the stock's conditions and potential. Tesla already has strong foundations, such as high earnings and profitability, low debt levels compared to competitors, and continuing growth and demand for all of its goods. With Tesla's upcoming manufacturing plans, more good news for investors may come. Tesla's semi-truck, which already began deliveries, is one chance for the company to challenge the automotive market. In addition, the much-anticipated Cybertruck is nearing completion and may enter the market shortly. Products like this can improve Tesla stock and dramatically increase sales in the coming years. Do you agree that 2023 will be a good year for Tesla and its investors? Tell us in the comments and remember to give your thoughts on Tesla stock. Thanks for staying with me until the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't hesitate to give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I'm Fred and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you want to know why Tesla stock will explode in a few days, click on this video.